Hi there YouTube, it's Melissa and I'm back finally with uh, another layout share. So what have I been up to? I have been on vacation for um, a really long time visiting family uh, for two weeks last month and I also am completely caught up on Project Life. So yay, I raced home and got my July and everything caught up. So. Um, so yeah, got that done. So I thought I would start uh, checking other things off my list, which would be layouts, and I wanted to start another one. So I am going to be doing a layout. These are the two photographs. They're of my son and his current faves. Like this is all things Pokemon and anything he can get his hands on, he makes a paper airplane. <laughs> He's really into origami or stuff like that. So I thought I would do eight and a half by 11. And one of the things that I have been really focusing on is using up my stash. As you know, I don't have never and don't belong to any kit clubs, so I'm always trying to be, find creative ways to use my stash and get it used up. And that's one of the most enjoyable parts of scrapbooking for me is the thrill of finding new ways and getting stuff used up out of my stash. Because quite frankly, what I used to do is buy 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 and have to have everything and now I'm stuck with all this stuff and I don't want to just give it away so I'm just trying to use it and I've been doing that for several years now so if you've been following me you know that I, I challenge myself quite often so enough rambling so what I thought I wanted to do well I'll start here so because this is about my son and his current favorites I thought I you know I don't buy thickers although I do have a handful in my stash from back in the day I have these dear Lizzie words and this one down here says fave and I thought maybe I could use um, hashtag fave or whatnot so I do have a handful of alphabets in my stash and I made this little key ring just so I could see the fonts that I have and the great thing about having your own fonts is that you can cut them from all sorts of materials so fabrics felt um, you know foam of course and cardstock so I'm looking through these so the one thing I didn't love for two things is this is a black font which I'm going to make work but I'm conscious of using I wanted to use these frames in some sort of way and this collection is I think the so rad collection from simple stories and what I'm conscious about is that it's very um, it's colorful but it's also navy based so I'm pulling from my frames and making sure you know, I don't want the navy to really contrast too much with the black. So I've kind of pulled these out. I'm going to keep looking and see what else I can find in there. But in keeping with this, I, I realize this says fave. So what I did was, like I said, I went through my these. And actually what the one thing I am going to say is that try to think outside of your regular alphas. So. I have a handful of these that I cut. So this one was from a font I have. This one was from just a plain letter. I thought it would work. But actually what did I what I ended up liking the most is so I have this really old. It's from Crate Paper, the open book collection, and this S. If you know, obviously this is a brush stroke and so is this font or this word this is the word this and this s I thought was gonna work quite well so if you see here fave um, this is the s I cut just from paper to practice and see what I was gonna like because I know I can cut it from black foam which I have in my stash and yeah and then this one was from another if you can see it it's from another um, word that I have from Stampin Up although it's quite small and it's not going to work in this instance because it's it's too tiny. But the same thing, you know, I just went through my stash to make it work. And that's the one of the things I don't like about thickers. And see, I did have this, which I thought, oh gosh, I have one S, foam S left, which I could easily use, no big deal. But I thought, you know what, let's get creative and see what I can find. So, yeah, I'm going to be able to use this and then I'll just make my own little apostrophe out of, you know, a random piece of foam. So I'm thinking I'm going to like that. So anyway, so that's where I'm going with this. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to um, most definitely use a bunch of these up and see what I can get used up out of my stash. So stay tuned. Bye.
Hi there YouTube, I'm back and I finished the layout. I completed an eight and a half by 11 layout and I'll share it now. I will do a quick overview and then I'll walk you through it. Okay, so I used a craft background and a small accident happened. I wanted some white embossing little dots on here. I used a Heidi Swap like falling dots um, stencil but I went to grab white embossing paste and I accidentally grabbed clear which all right is fine so I made do um, I then went with some studio calico mist added that I added some random gray and yellow mustard washi from my stash and then started with those frames so I ended up using one two three well kind of four five, six. And so I just placed them, like this one says too cute, I just cut it, used just a craft knife, and if I needed some rough edges filed down, I just use um, a little fingernail file that I have in my craft room. This Happy Memories, and actually this is another one, they're from Chic Tags, which they no longer um, happen to make um, ephemera, but that's where that's from. I just backed it up behind the frame. Have my two photos. I cut one of the frames kind of as a little corner, photo corner. Pokemon and Planes is with Studio Calico Wood Alphas. And here's a frame. I just cut it in half to have a little peeking out on each side. This cool is the other half of this. Uh, this is the other piece of this. And then there's this green. Then I went ahead and added from Mama Elephant a really old stamp set. Um, what's it called? It's called So Breezy. And I just used this here, stamped it in with black. This paper airplane, I it's from Flying By from Lawn Fawn. It's the smaller one. I went ahead and colored it with some Copics, just light grays to give it um, some shading. Here is a Heidi Swamp, Swap, what did I say Swamp, that's funny, um, Rolly Date Stamp, and then Hashtag Faves, like I mentioned in the first part of this video, I wanted to use the Faves from this set, which is a Dear Lizzie, what's it called, Snapshots. And so I used fave, but I wanted the S. So I ended up cutting from this crepe paper, Maggie Holmes open book. I ended up using with some black foam from my stash, craft foam. I cut the S and added it at the end. And the hashtag was in the Dear Lizzie set. Then I did my journaling, cut it out with my typewriter, added some Studio Calico stars, wood veneer stars, and all of this has been colored with my permanent Sharpie marker. To, but you know, it, it takes to paint and whatever, so. Um, but it's just easier for me that way. And yeah, that's it. I think it turned out really cute. I like, you know, it's simplicity, but I was able to use up some stuff for my stash. And you know, how it, versatile it is to change things up. Look outside of what you've got. Um, yeah, and have fun with your supplies. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.